Okay, hello guys, and welcome back to the Same Track Project. Um, so, this is Solus, um, and I don't really know what to say, guys. Um, I've been a bit of an idiot. I've, well, not really that. It's more I've not had enough time to do a video for quite a while. It's been about a month, and I, I can't do anything but apologise for that. Um, but anyway, I'm back now, and this, this great big heap of mess is going to be what the next project is going to be, that we're going to be building. It's going to be a wool farm. So, you might be wondering why there's all these different things, why don't they just use Igeuses and all these different things. Now, the reason I'm not using Igeuses is because this is going to be coloured wool, with each of these different pods being a different colour. Um, I believe there's enough pods here for each colour, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pods, all for different colours. Um, the sheep just stay on each pod. You basically um, want to find where I put the pathway. You've got this little pathway here. Shear the sheep. All the wool stays in the middle. Um, and then, if this does continue to work, you then hit this button. All the water pushes all the wool down into this stream and it all goes into the hopper and into here. And you get all this wool. Apart from the other side that's not supposed to be there. But anyway, that's pretty much it. It's, uh, it's a simple little design. Um, but uh, it's certainly something that will be useful. Um, albeit slightly resource heavy on the whole dropper front. Or is that a dispenser? Oh, dispenser then, sorry. Not a dropper. But uh, yeah, it's going to be quite um, resource heavy on that and I'm going to need a lot of iron. So I may potentially have to um, cut this quite short. Okay, see I'm trying to record this in about an hour. So um, yeah, uh, I probably won't be able to get this finished. But we can make a good crack at it. Um, you know, get all the dispensers done. And I'm, I'm going to have to breed up the sheep anyway. So it's not going to be in use for a while. Um, so anyway, let's get out of this uh, creative world and let's go back to the server. Okay, so uh, back on the server, not much has changed other than this sort of thing I've built here. Uh, it, I mean, you'll all have seen this design before, just a dead simple little smelter. But it's just a little bit automa more automatic than the other ones I've used in the past, than any other system I've used. So I decided, eh, why not? Um, so I've got quite a lot of materials here, um, I think this should be enough, don't see us needing any more than that. Um, so I need to think of a good base block that's not going to look completely ugly. Um, I still need to fix all this, I've, I've just not had time to just with work and other commitments. Moving back to uni soon, so I've, I've got quite a lot that I need to get done. I forget, uh, that should be enough dirt from what we need. Uh, because the guys love this stuff so much, we're going to need a little bit of granite. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'll use some of that. Um, I mean, that's pretty much going to be it for those materials and what we're going to be using. Um, uh, I will need some glass panes, I believe. We just go in here, and I think that should actually be enough glass panes. I, I don't see us needing any more than that. Um, however, we do need some bows, um, some arrows, and we need a lot. Uh, well, basically, we just need a lot of dispensers. Um, I can't remember where I keep the string. Ah, there we go. Should be enough. Uh, hang on, we need a lot of string. Actually, thinking about it. I'm just going to bulk build a load of balls, really. Um, don't think I actually have any loose sticks anywhere. I think I used all of them, so I'm going to build some. Um, let's go up and grab a pile of cobblestone as well, um, because this is going to take a little bit just to build up all these things. Um, so if there was 12 pods, then that will mean I will need... Uh, 24. Um, I need wood. 
luckily I have a convenient little um, stash of uh, birchwood. That was probably one of the best ideas I've had on this server. If I remember correctly. It's something like this. No, it's your way around. I'm an idiot. I am an absolute imbecile. Okay, that should be enough of those things for the moment. Um, I need redstone, don't I? That's what I needed. There's none up here. This is going really well so far, I've got to say. <laughs> you can you tell I'm being a little bit rusty and I've not been on this for a bit. I mean, I've, I've been I've been here, there, and everywhere, to be honest. Um, I'll just put that there for the moment. I'll sort that out later. Um, I mean, I've been in and out of work, yeah, being on holiday. You know, it's just the typical things that we students do. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is... How you doing? Yep, that's right. So, can I, I can't stack these, can I? Uh, so you what, I'll build all these and I'll cut back after. Okay, so I figured we may as well pop over here and uh, breed a couple of pigs. Um, and the breeding's coming along pretty well. Um, recently fixed the system so it actually works half decently. And yeah, I can't actually breed any of them at the moment. Uh, see how many there are. Oh, if I'm correct at believing this, there are 13 in there, I think. I'm hoping so. Possibly. Uh, there's a number of them in there, basically. So, there's all the little animals. And I'm thinking, because this is going to be quite a big thing, um, I'm thinking of doing it just slightly ahead around here. So, if I let's say I just place a little bit of cobblestone, just as a bit of a marker, uh, let's place it right here. That's going to be our central block. So if we go about to here, that's going to be where the chest is. So the chest is going to be there. It means that there's going to be a hopper there. Wait, does it? Uh, can you open chests with hoppers directly on top of them? I think so. Yeah, you've got to be able to. Got to be able to, surely. I can't remember what my own design look like. Looks like now. I'm just going to be back in a second. Okay, so that's that bit done. Um, yeah, it's 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 big. As with, well, apart from that, but as with nearly everything else I build, it's going to be pretty big when this is all done. Um, so. Next stage, I think we'll add all the droppers in next, um, that seems like a good place to start. And we're also going to do a little bit of pulling up some of this grass because we'll need it. Um, so if we swap out that for that, well put that there and that there. I'll just dig up a little bit of this, that should be plenty. I mean, this will all grow back in no time. So it's a great use of resource, resources, in my opinion. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to put two on, and there's a reason for that, just in case, for some reason, they end up glitching out and eating the grass that's going to be underneath the dropper, which has happened in the uh, creative world. Which is the only reason why I'm doing it so much, otherwise I wouldn't do this, because this does just seem like a bit of a stupid idea. But, well, like I just said, that's happened and I don't want to risk it. Because I'd rather look like an idiot who's putting extra grass down than an idiot who didn't put enough grass down. I think that's a good way of putting it. I don't know. You have to tell me if it isn't. 
I probably just made a fool out of myself again, but well, there we go, that's that's what I do. As you probably notice on this server. Uh, so anyway. Uh, so the idea is that on the, that basically on this block here, the dropper will be on that. I mean the dispenser will be on that, I mean. And then back here the redstone will be on, but just in case the sheep does do it, do manage to eat that somehow, despite being blocked off from it, that one will help that to regrow. Um, you know, it's, it is purely just a precaution. There's no other reason for it to be there. Um, so yeah, what I'll do is I'll finish off putting all this down and then I'll do another cut. Okay, so that is stage two officially done. Um, yes, looking quite fine and dandy. Nothing else real I can say about that. I'm thinking it's now time to start placing these glass panes, and I can almost see, I can pretty much guarantee now that there is nowhere near enough. And I'm going to need to go and get some more, but, well, that's something we'll deal with when the time comes. So, the idea here is that the glass panes go along the edge here uh, just like didn't mean to put that there pretty much just like that uh, I don't think you can get through there hmm maybe they can do don't know particularly but uh, well we'll see um, hopefully not I should probably brought my silk touch pick with me for this that would probably be a good idea. In fact, you know what? I'm going to head off, grab that, and I'll finish off placing our glass in, and I'll cut back. Okay, so that's uh, that's all the glass put in. Uh, that's a lot of glass I went through. Um, so, yeah. Um, don't really know where to go from here. Um, I'm actually kind of running out of time, if I'm honest. Um, I think we're made to keep this one just short, just here. Um, foundations for a new little project, I, I guess. Um, well, not little, but it's it's going to take a long time to finish this one, I reckon. Or at least long to an extent. Like, hopefully, I can get an episode out next week. And I can work on this over this weekend. Get it, all the redstone stuff done. And all the rest. Hopefully breed up potentially enough sheep for it, or at least at least two for each pen, so I can breed them up from there. But, uh, yeah, um, I think we'll have to sign off here, guys. Um, and I will see you again next time. Believe there's a pig farm anywhere. So we're going to make one. And we're going to make it right here. Now, I have kind of worked on something. I've decided for this episode, I'm gonna try and do the whole design